Pluto. By the FIFA. way, I have the time. By the way, you know, the, the Republicans are constantly using, I have to say, you, you brought it up yourself, the deaths of these black police officers, Patrick Underwood and David Dorn, for uh, making political points. And the fact that it was right-wing extremists who killed Officer Underwood, that seems to be lost in this argument. And, and now there are all these attacks about Black Lives Matter and what they're saying. I mean, how many of us even think that defunding police departments is uh, it should be taken literally? I mean, I certainly don't. So, you know, we have this pesky thing called freedom of speech. And I'd say that the, the, the people who support Black Lives Matter and if they're calling for various boycotts and all that, that's called freedom of speech. And that's what this hearing title is. Protecting speech. So all I can say is, look, we should all join hands and, and denouncing and uh, <laughs> whatever words you want to use about violent extremism of all stripes. And I think we can all agree on that. So it's to constantly accuse Democrats of not caring about that is re really, uh, I, I, I can only say that you, you, you aren't listening. So I hope this is the end of this hearing, Mr. Chairman, and that we don't have to listen to any more of your rhetorical speeches. Thank you very much. I'm leaving. Well, I appreciate the, as always, kind and uplifting words of Senator Hirono. Oh, and I would also note that throughout her remarks, she still did not say a negative word about Antifa, <laughs> nor has any Democrat here. Uh, they instead engage in a political game where they depend. You're welcome to say something negative about Antifa right now. I think that I've covered the subject quite well. You okay. are not listening. Okay. She declined to speak, so 